Today we're going to be talking about myocardial infarctions, aka heart attack. So a heart attack is basically when not enough oxygen is coming to your heart, causing your heart muscle to die. And so the people most likely to get a heart attack are people over age 60. Oh my. Somebody help. Somebody help. Somebody help. Somebody help. Hey, Miss Cardiologist, I think I just experienced a heart attack. Well, to be diagnosed with a heart attack, medical evidence of heart muscle damage is needed, most reliably confirmed by elevated blood levels of cardiac markers like troponin. Other diagnostic criteria could be shortness of breath, chest pain, and fatigue. This is often confirmed through medical imaging like EKG, which shows the heart's blood flow and the function that has been impacted. Hey, thank you very much. The DASH diet is an effective way to lower the risk of future heart attack. The diet is most effective when it's followed daily and sustained long term. The DASH diet consists of eating mainly fruits and vegetables, low fat dairy products, whole grains, and four to six ounces of lean meats or fish. Significantly reducing the intake of sugary desserts, over processed foods, and high fat products will significantly reduce the risk of future heart attacks. Medication treatments can include anti-clotting medications as uh, aspirin and other blood thinning medications, as well as thrombolytics known as clot blusters are medications that help dissolve dangerous blood clots. Other medications may include antihypertensives that help by lower, lowering blood pressure, as well as statins to help lower cholesterol levels. Treatment side effects may be nausea, vomiting, weakness, lightheadedness, infection, bleeding, or damage to blood vessels. Cognitive behavior therapy can help manage fear and anxiety after a heart attack. It can also help patients motivate and adhere to lifestyle changes like diet and exercise to reduce the risk of future heart attacks. Additionally, your arteries narrow the older you get. This leads to a condition called atherosclerosis, where your narrower arteries lead to less blood flow. This reduced blood flow can then impact your heart, since there's less blood coming to your heart, and in turn, and a myocardial infarction is in the works.